In this video, we are going to show how to manage your Google Calendar as a student. So to access your Google Calendar, you'll need to be logged into your student account. Then you can click on the cube up in the upper right and choose Google Calendar, or you can type in calendar.google.com. And then this is the week view, and you can see that you'll probably already have events in your calendar from your Google Classroom calendars. So you can see the full month up in the top left, and then down below your calendar, you'll probably see multiple Google Classroom calendars. You can uncheck those if you don't want to see certain classes, um, or if you have classes from previous years, you can uncheck those, or use the three dots next to it and hide it from the list. So over here on the calendar view, if you click on any of those events from your Google Classroom, they will show information about that assignment. And if they're up at the top, it's an all day event. That means there wasn't a time included in the due date. But if it's down below with the time, that means there is a due, due date time. And um, if you click on it, there is a clickable link that will automatically take you to that assignment in Google Classroom. So that's a helpful way to stay on top of your Google Classroom assignments. You can also create your own events in your Google Calendar to help you stay on track. And you can do that by clicking create or double clicking on any part of your calendar and it will open up this view to add an event. So you can add events for your class times or just for work time, like you can set an event for working on a project. Down below in the description, you can add attachments or links for resources for um, whatever that event is. So for this history project, you could add a link to the actual project. Then when you click save, that project um, is now on your calendar um, at that time. So you can keep track of um, your days, your weeks with your classes and with any work time. To edit it, just click on it and click the pencil and you can bring up to edit. You can set events to repeat. So if you have class every week, you can set it to repeat on that day um, or every uh, weekday. So that's an option for um, setting it to repeat. You can also set notifications for yourself um, in those. So you can move forward in time with those little arrows up at the top. And there's a quick shortcut to go back to uh, today by clicking on the today button. Then in the upper right, you can choose your view. You can change it from week to month and see the whole month at once, or you can see just today. So you can see your schedule for the day, based on what is set in your calendar. You can also see a schedule view that kind of lays out everything that you have on your calendar in order. And then there's also um, a four day view that'll just show you the next four days um, in your calendar. And then you can um, go back to week. So those are the views in your calendar and then um, creating events for um, anything that you are working on or for class time can help stay on track in all of your classes. So again, if you click on create, you might want to click more options to bring up this full view so you can add all of the options in your calendar event um, or double clicking on the calendar will bring up that and then clicking on anything, clicking on the pencil will allow you to edit in your calendar.